This is News 4 at 6, watching out for you. He tried to help people out. They were handicapped and stuff. He was really sweethearted. I miss him. A Franklin County father facing tragedy after his son and his son's girlfriend were gunned down outside of their home. Right now, detectives are working to try and find those responsible. It's the first double homicide in years in Franklin County. The victims are Ronnie Klein and Leslie Barstow, and Klein's father believes they may have been chased down before they were shot. It happened north of Pacific on Spring Valley Road in Franklin County around 730 last night. Only News 4's Russell Kinsall hears from the family as the search for a gunman expands. It's horrible, man. I hope they catch them. I'm praying for that. Ronald Klein Sr. is devastated over the brutal killing of his son, 39-year-old Ronnie Klein, and his son's girlfriend, 34-year-old Leslie Barstow. Klein was inside the home when it happened outside. I had a big boom, and my dog took off. It scared him. He went outside and saw his son's pickup had slammed into the side of the house and garage. Both victims inside, it appears they'd been chased up to the house. He was going real fast when he hit the house. Never hit the brakes. I think he was already dead. I don't know. Klein tried to perform CPR on his son. He says his son and girlfriend were in the pickup and both had been shot to death. And the second door was open. I think they reached in there and stole his, his backpack that he keeps his stuff in. He had quite a bit of money. He didn't put his money in the bank. The home where the couple was gunned down is in a rural area where homes are some distance from their neighbors. Investigators work through most of the night gathering clues at the crime scene, and they're asking for the public's help. I think that's why it's important that we're putting it out there. If anybody's got any information, uh, no matter how insignificant they think it may be, reach out to our office and let us know about that. There are no surveillance cameras at the house, but the sheriff is hoping cameras nearby recorded the shooter coming and going. But if somebody's got any cameras along that route or in that general vicinity, we ask that them check it and reach out to us. Klein said he didn't get a good look at the shooter's car as it was leaving, but he said it was really loud. I guess the guys that did the shooting were back, backing up into my driveway to turn to shoot down this driveway to get away. Klein lived in the same house with his son Ronnie and Leslie. He said he's praying they get justice. I just hope they catch them. In Pacific, Russell Kinsall, News 4.